Hey guys, this is Katana from Chronic Gaming. I am demoing my array builder. This uh, first note you need to understand with this program is that you need to have the exile, exile mod loaded. The script currently has a combination of biz functions uh, and exile client functions. Uh, I may in the future rewrite this so it's a standalone with just biz functions, um, but using XL client functions is very convenient. The um, this was built for an XL server. The functions that you need to be to use the X this mod in terms of why I built it. Uh, anybody that runs XL servers knows about the um, category traders.sqf where you have to list how much you're going to something is you have the price of something in, in the, the Excel traders as well as their spec level uh, because I spent so much time building traders uh, they kind of was the birth of this idea basically what this um, script does is you put in your your, your array there's a um, class name init that you would paste your um, array into and then you can run the script and it will do one of two things it will either show the stats of the item which makes this useful for everybody that plays arma if you have something you're curious about you just don't know um, you can instead of going in the game and testing stuff you can actually look at the stats of it the the meat and potatoes of this um, script is the if you set the stats show stats to false which the show stats to false is found in the um, item array.sqf um, so there's a couple of different areas you have to change the switches. I may rewrite that in the future to make it all localized, but currently this is still a work in progress. So show stats true, shows the stats of the object, show stats false, builds you an array. Um, when this script runs, it uses a function called copy to clipboard. So what you would do is you'd run the script, minimize the game, go into your notepad plus plus or whatever editor tool you're using and hit control plus V and that'll paste whatever array you populate, whether it be stats or uh, a trader category list. So once you do that, you have you literally have a usable plug and play array uh, if you're trying to build a trader that you can paste directly into your trader uh, categories. That being said, um, if you're you don't run Excel you and you're just curious about it, it still creates an array, but it shows stats instead of building a trader category. There are three different functions that you can do with this, depending on what you want to do. I'm going to demo all of them, so it's going to be kind of a lengthy video. But the first thing I've done is I've made it where, crap, I don't want to go through E. I don't want to go through the, because usually you go into Arsenal and you select a weapon and you look at it and you export this class name or you build, so you put all these in the Arsenal, you put all these um, items on a character and you export his, his, his um, item list and then from there you can find the class names. What I've done for expediency is I've created a, an array that's called Array Builder. It's totally separate from the, the, the meat and potatoes of the script, but it is useful for those that want to um, just be quick about certain things. And I thought I loaded cup. I did load cup. Let's go to cup units. All right, so let's throw a couple of guys down. Always leave a player guy on there because um, part of the script that you use to run this, you have to be a player. So I'm going to jump in and out of the game a couple times. And you can put as many people down on the map as you want. The, the script, the way it runs, is I have it where it uh, finds the center of the map, and then it uses the world size, which finds your, your longest length of X and your longest length of Y. It finds your world size, and then it does a, a radius search of the max. So I think the VR is like 10. Oh, some more. It, it is 10 by 10. So it'll find everything on this map um, when, when I search it. So from here, what I do is I go into Tools. I go into Debug. This Array Builder script, what you would do is you type in EXECVM space quote Array Builder dot SQF quote and then semicolon and then you'd run it. It has just built me a uh, array list for my notepad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to switch my screen over so you can watch what I do on the outside. Alright, I've unpaused the game. 
Um, all I've done here is I ran the script inside the game. I'm now pressing and holding control and I'm pressing V. It sometimes does this, so you're going to get rid of the top quotes and you're going to get rid of that uh, in that top comma. As you can see, this is the way I was I was telling you that I was running my um, that didn't work out right. That doesn't look right at all. That should probably be I don't know if that's right or not. I have to look into that. It may be right. I don't know. But uh, anyway, sorry for the sidetrack. The this is how my arrays look. It's cleaner, it's easier to see, it's easier to look at versus trying to go and see each individual comma. The comma is always in the front. What I like about this is the one thing about every array is that you're always going to have one object. So instead of trying to remember to leave off the last comma, you always leave off the first comma and you can add anything down below it you want. Um, so that's what my arrays look like. That right there, this, this, this right here can be pasted directly into your trader list if you're building a trader. Uh, it's set up to go straight in. Um, you just have to adjust things appropriately to put them where you want them. Now, this right here was strictly building the um, array itself for me. I'm going to pause the video one more time to find, to find the file I want to show you, and then I'll bring it back up one second. Or, all right, so I'm recording. Had to make sure it's recording. Sometimes my keys don't work. Well, you can leave these guys in here if you want. Um, if you have different facts up here, I recommend you delete them. So I'm going to delete the guys just because I don't need them there. I'm going to press play. Now, you can see activate array right here. I'm going to activate the array. I'm going to pause the video again because I'm going back outside the game. I just want you to see that activation array is there automatically. It runs the main script for you. So now I'm back outside the game. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to hit Control V. This is the array that was built off the um, class uh, array init that you used. So everything here came directly off of here. As you can see, like I was describing, Assault Rifles, it shows what type of item it is. It shows its class name. That's going to be the variable name that the, it actually is used inside the game. Um, so if you've got um, admin and stuff like that, uh, or developers, you can, this is what, this is the actual the object name that spawns stuff in. It gives you the max damage of the weapon, the max range of the weapon, the max uh, round speed, the max magazine capacity, rounds per minute, so your rate of fire, reload time, and your ma your minimum distribution, so how tight that spread can get. Um, as far as backpacks go, it gives you armor and your load. Then your bullets, it goes back into, like I was talking about, it, this right here is the actual what's displayed inside the editor when you're looking at something, if I'm not mistaken. The damage per bullet, the speed of the bullet, how many rounds in that magazine, and then if there are any tracers, which none of these have tracers, as it seems. Um, then we get into handguns, your headgear. Uh, your headgear has armor but no capacity. This one here has no armor or capacity. The rocket launchers are shown. Your uniforms are shown, and then your vests are shown. So you got some vests that have no armor but they have capacity. And then you, you can look and see that this vest right here is a, is a decent vest with 60 armor and then 140 load. Um, that right there is what the show stats true looks like. I'm a, um, I have to pause it one more time. Here in a second, I'm going to go into my item array. Up here at the top, I, originally when I built the script, you were pasting everything in here. And I just want to keep people from, from accidentally messing it up. So you can paste it in here if you want. It will work. 
Um, you don't have to. You can use the class item array init HPP, which is found in the file. Over here at show stats, I'm going to click false. This is the only thing in this file you need to change back and forth if you want. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to pause the game real quick. i got to um, go back in real quick, and I'll run it and show you. I'm not even going to show you me running it in the game. I'm just going to run it, and then I'm going to come back out. So I'm going to pause this one second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back out. I ran the array like I stated, and if you remember correctly, I change, all I did was change show stats to false. So I come over here, I press Control-V. This, for anybody that builds Exile Traders, you know what this is. It's populated automatically. I've got it sorting automatically so that you can very quickly and easily grab what you want and move it to whatever category you want to set it up as and so on. Um, for those of you that don't run Exile and build Traders, this does not apply to you. You don't care. But I have, and I'm still tweaking it, I have algorithms in there that for, for the rifles, it looks at the damage, it looks at the range, it looks at the rate of fire and the reload speed, um, and even looks at the max capacity of the weapon itself and comes up with a respect level and a price. You can adjust the minimum maximums. So say you don't want any of your items to be over respect level 3, you can set that in there. There's a variable in there. If you want to do gross adjustments of all prices across all your traders, there's a multiplier in there for that. If you want to say, I only want the backpacks to bump up because they're too cheap, you can do that, or vice versa, you can you can bump it down by changing the, the multipliers. Stuff like that, it's all in there. Um, as far as that goes, that's it for that. I'm going to show you, a, uh, in game, I'm going to show you what you can type to actually make this script run in game. So let's say um, you're, you have traders, and this goes right on back to people that have Exile, and they're trying to just adjust their traders. So say you have a trade a item list from your traders that you're taking from. You can do all this in the game and not change, not even come back and forth like I'm doing. You can just um, go to your item list, copy your stuff, paste it in the debug if you want, and run your script. So if you if you know all, um, all I want to do is build a traders list, or, very, or even validate my traders list, but, and compare it to the or the algorithm I built. Um, you can go in and just keep plugging it in from your your traders, and not have to switch to the true and false or anything. And it, it makes it a little quicker. It may not be used by anybody, but it's an option. I like giving options, and I apparently like to talk. So bear me one second. I'm gonna minimize the game. Or I'm gonna pause the video and go back in the game for one second. Thing. Did it pause? It's not pause. All right, so what I've done now is I've got the video switched back over. And there's three things, four things you need to type in here. Show stats equals true. And really and truly, you could probably just put true, and it's going to call a variable itself. You could, There's a number of ways you could do it, but this is how I do it. And then category array equals left bracket square bracket I'm holding the shift key and I'm pressing I'm tapping enter now right square bracket and I'm pasting well before I do that I'm gonna come down to the bottom so it's easier to see I'm holding the shift key hitting enter you're gonna put exec VM item array dot SQF item array is what is where the function starts this is where everything starts so you're gonna come in here and you can come up here and you can highlight it if you want or you can retype it show stats category needs to be in, needs to be first based on how I'm calling it so the first thing that's called is the category array even though I've listed them backwards make sure you put category array first show stats second and when the script runs the parameters are called category array category array is is 0 and then um, or select 0 and then show stats is select two when I when I call it. So it needs to be in that order. It doesn't matter how you put it up here. It matters how you call it down here. Um, so what I'm going to do from here, and I just screwed up because I overcopied my array, which I just got to go back out of the game real quick and get it. So it'll take me a second. Um, I'm coming back in the game now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paste in that array I just went and got. And the reason I don't like using debug for a lot of items is because it's exactly this right here. It just scrolls so far down. It's such a pain in the butt to use. But this right here is set to true. I'm going to load it. So I've loaded my array. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game one more time. I'm back out of the game. I'm literally all I'm doing is pasting in what I just built. This is what I ran in debug. So there's three different things you can do, three different ways you can use it. Um, I know it's a lot. Play with it. Um, I will I will paste my Discord tag in the um, info on this. As a matter of fact, if you're watching the video, I will tell you I am. If I can get the screen to come up, it's not showing my name like I thought it would. It's I'm Katana in in uh, Discord, but it's, I'm looking for my I think it's 32 something. Okay, I am 6232 Katana pound 6232. That is who I am. You can contact me directly if you want. Um, I will also put a link into our Discord Chronic Discord. You can find me there. I'm a member of Freak Boy Gamings. Um, I'm a helper there. You can you can come paste. You can find me anywhere you want. If you have any questions, if you have any ideas, if you make changes to the script, and you or you want them posted for everybody to enjoy, send me the files that you you changed, or send me the, the mission with the changes in it, and tell me what you did. Let me review it, and credit will be given to anybody that helps develop this because this is a free community tool. Um, there is no monetary gains to this. It is strictly trying to give back. Um, so if anybody wants to be a part of lending to the to the, the community, your name will go in as credits for as a helper. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this.